Well, we got lots to talk about weather-wise. We do. Some changes on the way in. It's been a beautiful morning so far, though. Uh, not too much uh, happening in the valley. But as you can see on our satellite and radar, that system is working in now. We are getting some rain across the coast and high winds continue out there. We do have a high wind warning through the afternoon today for gusty conditions. So current sustained wind speeds upwards of 20 miles an hour from the south. We'll soon see these winds uh, scooting inland here all across the valley. Salem up through Portland and the metro area expecting gusts around. 30 to 40 miles an hour uh, later today. So the next couple of hours, we'll see those winds starting to ramp up and they stick around as we head towards our evening. So here's that wind gust forecast. Already seeing those gusts out there at the coast. But again, uh, that the front will work inland here and gusts around 40 miles an hour. We soon see those winds dying down, heading into our later evening and overnight hours, uh, starting off with a calm day heading into tomorrow. But we've got some weather to get through tonight before we uh, get there. It's been beautiful so far out towards Vancouver. Take a look at those clouds. We've even gotten some sunshine this morning. Temperatures have hit the uh, low to mid 50s already. So it is a very warm afternoon as we look across the region here. Temperatures mainly in the low to upper 40s out of the coast. Uh, we're in the mid 50s and this morning we were in, even in the uh, low 60s. So it's quite a mild morning. Here's that rainfall future cast as we head towards the afternoon. Likely in about an hour or so we'll see those showers here starting to scoot in uh, towards the valley. Not expecting too much rain. About two tenths of an inch possibly in the valley. So the system not really a soaker. Uh, we'll have to wait till next week to get that. But Saturday starts off fairly dry. The system will work in quickly overnight and out the door. So looking at a fairly dry day tomorrow. And as we head towards the evening, we'll see those showers working back in. Sunday's going to be another wet day. And then as we head towards next week, those systems keep rolling in and we repeat this over and over again. So lots more rain as we start next week. So again, through today, not expecting much, maybe quarter of an inch of rain here in Portland and around the valley. But heading into next week, we're expecting almost up to three more inches of rain just through Thursday. So that's about half the month's worth of rain in the span of six days or so. So we're expecting a lot of rain as we head towards next week. It's going to be a wet one out there. Uh, looking at our snow levels, they start to climb as we head towards Sunday and on. So snowfall tonight, maybe three to six inches above uh, five to six thousand feet. And then as we head into the rest of the week, we do really warm up. So we'll likely accumulate maybe a few more inches here and there overnight. Uh, but again, not expecting sig significant snow and a lot of that to melt as we head towards Tuesday and on. Our mountain passes will see some snow too tonight at a government camp, maybe about a half an inch. So watching out for winter driving conditions paired with gusty winds out there overnight as well. We'll have it past Santiam Pass, maybe two to four inches out that way. So folks, uh, bring some chains with you and to watch those conditions as you're heading over the mountains into the weekend. Here's our seven day forecast. The mid 50s today will drop those highs to the low 50s. So Jenny, yes, we will see some mild temperatures, but a very rainy start uh, as we head into Monday next week. That's better than like rainy and cold and windy. So yeah, I think, you know, the moist air will kind of help with all the hair and the oh, frizziness. That's you know, what it's, it's all about. It is a real yeah. issue. As <laughs> it has been a real <laughs> issue. Yes, my hair is like, whoop. I yeah. know, so it, it'll be nice. Hopefully that'll help us as we head into next okay, week. Okay, good to know. All right, right. thanks, <laughs> Kelly. We'll be right back.